All right, terrific. Well, we will go ahead and get started. So thank you everyone for joining our webinar today. We're very excited to have Kay Haggerty, and we're also very excited to have Chris Seidel with us today. Um, they are presenting, Kay is gonna be presenting on the Phoenix Union Bioscience High School, their FAFSA completion efforts. Um, they are actually our November 2021 Most Innovative Player for the um, FASCA Challenge program. So we're very excited to award them with this awesome recognition to highlight all of their work that the district has done and all the work that the high school has done as well. Um, in addition to that, we are also highlighting College Depot, which is a strategic partner within Phoenix Union. So Chris is going to be telling us all about the great resources um, and assistance that they offer not only to Phoenix Union High School students, but also other um, high school students um, as a public resource. But they're going to chat about this great um, st strategic resource and partnership that have really increased FAFSA completion, not only with Bioscience High School, but also, also with Phoenix Union. So I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to Kay um, and Chris, and that way they can tell us all about the great efforts that they're doing um, within FAFSA completion within their district and um, within their community organization. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. We appreciate the, uh, the warm welcome and we welcome uh, to all of our colleagues uh, across metropolitan Phoenix and, and the state and uh, welcome the opportunity to have this time to shine a spotlight on Phoenix Union Bioscience High School and the College Depot. So just an opening screen, being able to, to see some of the pictures of our, our beautiful bioscience campus. And uh, Julie did such a, a phenomenal job of, of introducing both uh, Chris and I, but just to, uh, in terms of a little bit more, more background. I'm in my third year as the solo counselor at Bioscience High School. I have had eight years of counseling background in Phoenix Union. And uh, part of my job, one of the, the exciting uh, parts of my job is certainly the college admissions piece and being able to help our fine senior scholars to uh, head to in-state public universities and liberal arts uh, out-of-state liberal arts and science schools across the country. Uh, and I, we welcome uh, we welcome our partnership with the College Depot and handing it over to Chris to give him an opportunity to introduce himself. Thank you. My name is Christopher Lucan Seidel. You can call me Chris. I'm the Associate Director at College Depot. I've been at College Depot since 2014, so uh, just over seven years now. Um, and uh, in that role, we recently uh, launched a program called Graduating Ready, Independent, and Tenacious, which has enrolled over 450 seniors, many of which were bio students. We'll get into that a little bit more later on. Um, I'm also uh, in the third year surviving of my doctorate in education or EDD at ASU, um, focusing my dissertation on summer belt. Thank you, Chris. Uh, a busy life for sure. <laughs> Uh, before we, we launched into Phoenix Union and College Depot specific programs, both Chris and I wanted to take a moment to thank the Arizona Commission for Post-Secondary Education for inviting us to do this presentation and to be able to highlight the tremendous programs our district and College Depot are providing to our students and families. Truly without the Commission's support, Phoenix Union would not be where we are with FAFSA completions. If you would allow just a, a quick story, uh, you know, eight years ago as I began my counseling journey in Phoenix Union, I, I can still vividly remember being at Central High School, which is one of our comprehensive campuses, and sitting uh, at the principal's conference table with Dr. April Osborne and having her uh, present this, you know, this new idea of a, of a FAFSA challenge and, and uh, trying to solve the uh, problem solve how we could increase FAFSA completion in the state of Arizona. So I was proud eight years ago to be uh, Phoenix Union partnering with the Arizona Commission to do this bold initiative, this bold work to try to raise FAFSA, uh, FAFSA completion, and so pleased to see it continue strongly today. So thank you to the Commission for your continued support of Phoenix Union. We wanted to start off with just, uh, some of you may or may not be familiar or as familiar with Phoenix Union, uh, right? It's, it's not, Phoenix Union is not your mother's Phoenix Union. Uh, we, we have uh, 
worked hard throughout, uh, throughout our time to improve our graduation rates, reduce dropout rates, and close the achievement gap. Uh, diversity is a hallmark of our district. We have 81% uh, Latino population, a large refugee population, and students in our, our district speak over 100 languages. We, uh, more than half of our families, more than half of our families come from a home where English is not the primary language spoken. We say this in, in uh, that we know as we, we look at very targeted at FAFSA completion, uh, some of the, the difficulties or the obstacles we, we need to overcome in order to increase those FAFSA numbers. Phoenix Union is currently composed of over 28,000 students. We have over 4,000 staff members as a part of, uh, of, our, of our district. Phoenix Union comprises 11 large comprehensive campuses, currently eight small specialty schools. So Bioscience High School falls under a specialty schools uh, label. That includes in the small specialty, it includes our digital, our Phoenix Digital. And we are excited to welcome in a, a new small school next year, which will be Phoenix Union City. We also have three specialty micro schools. For those of you who aren't familiar, micro schools are housed on our comprehensive campuses. And uh, within the larger, it provides an opportunity for a micro school to offer specialized instruction, but be able to have all of the amenities of a comprehensive campus. So we'll also introduce uh, some of those micro schools in today's presentation as well. Uh, our village, right? It's the, the lead screen said, it, it takes a village to get students and families through, uh, through the FAFSA process. Uh, our village really begins with our superintendent, Dr. Chad Gustin. His leadership, he lives and breathes the Phoenix Union mission, which is preparing every student for success in college, career, and life. Uh, he believes in this and he puts our tremendous human, human potential, human power, uh, and our financial backing into helping schools in our district to provide college and career readiness. Uh, and without his support, we would not have the success uh, the, the success that we are with uh, college and career readiness and FAFSA completion. Uh, I, cannot, I cannot do the job that I do at Bioscience without the support of my principal, Dr. Holly Batzel. Uh, she, she provides me with campus level support, financial support when I need it. And probably most, most important for me in my job, she gives me the freedom to you know, dream big dreams for college admission and college readiness and uh, helps me find ways to support that. So uh, having the strong leader at the campus level has been vital to our success here at Bioscience. When we move from our, our district level to our, uh, our continued district level and campus level, this becomes our, our Phoenix Union Bioscience team who help put on college readiness FAFSA uh, events and, and promote the FAFSA at the campus level across our district. So I want to, in this, um, highlight, highlight the different positions. And I'm wondering uh, if any of your school districts have similar positions, because I think if I am asked, like what, what was the pivotal change in Phoenix Union uh, that made, uh, that made uh, or it helped increase our numbers. It would be the addition of these of these two uh, these two positions in Phoenix Union. So I want to highlight first uh, Dolores Ramirez there in the center. She is our Phoenix Union's post secondary articulation specialist. So when I say that Dr. Gaston uh, provided financial backing, this was a key a key role that was placed in our district that really changed the face of FAFSA completions. So this was a centralized role that helped to focus or centralize uh, our personnel in, in terms of our district personnel and our community partnerships to be able to help put on uh, college and career readiness, uh, uh, college and career readiness programs and FAFSA programs. So it was a central hub or a central person who was in charge of, uh, of coordinating uh, coordinating those those assets. 
if any of you know Dolores, Dolores is a force of nature and is so extremely talented and visionary. Uh, she just uh, has helped not only Bioscience High School to excel, but our, all of our schools across the district. Equally important for as a small school, as a small school counselor is the small school counselor's mentor. Um, as many of you know, right, the, uh, a counseling job, you have to know a little bit of everything in order to do your job. And uh, having specifically a small school's mentor who helps, who helps say, uh, here's all the things that you're going to need to know and, and we're going to support you with that, including how to, how to do the FAFSA, how to run the FAFSA. This was a key role. Uh, this, this position in our district helped to combine for small schools, combine our resources into uh, you know, a larger block. So we were able to, to get more programming, get more support uh, as, as a group of small schools, rather than just talking about bioscience specific or one small school. So that position in our district uh, has been vital. And Terry Haggerty has done a phenomenal job of bringing us all together. And then of course, rounding out our team, the, the campus level counselor. So I'm the bioscience school counselor. We access ASU is also a key, a key partner in our district. So access ASU helped provide FAFSA support throughout, uh, really it was vital throughout, uh, particularly the pandemic. Uh, they, they helped us with uh, Zoom access and uh, presenting at, on the digital platform. So we, we, can't, uh, we can't underscore the assistance that access ASU played. And FAFSA success would not happen without our community partners. They are an integral part of our village and are helping, uh, helping seniors across, the, uh, across our district be able to complete those FAFSAs and connect to financial aid. So we uh, certainly today with Chris, uh, we, we celebrate and thank College Depot for all the wonderful programs that they provide uh, to help our families complete complete the FAFSA. I also wanted to highlight uh, Aliento. Um, while we talk about FAFSA, we, we also always, as we are presenting these programs, uh, want to help our undocumented students. And Aliento has been a phenomenal partner in uh, helping to provide services for that. Chris, uh, you know, anything, anything to add here on College Depot and, and our, our partnership here? Uh, not that I, I can't bring up uh, in a later slide. Okay, well, thank, thank you. you. Moving on into our, our campus level. So bioscience, we are you know, absolutely blessed by location. We're located in the heart of downtown in the uh, biomedical research district that is, is growing. Uh, we have construction going on uh, all around us. We are a short walk to the downtown campuses of AS, ASU, U of A, NAU. Um, we are rich in, in the arts history. We're, we're right next to the Roosevelt Row. So we have a, a rich arts, uh, arts community as well. Uh, we love where we are and we love the, the community support in our neighborhood that, uh, that are the, the businesses and uh, uh, the entities provide to us uh, within our neighborhood. We are a public all honors STEM magnet school. We focus on engineering and biomedical science. Our students graduate with six years of science courses. Our percentage of 84, about 84% 84 of our graduates enter directly to a four-year school, 14% go directly to a two-year community college. And typically uh, we have one to two graduates enlist in, in military service. Uh, as we, you know, as we look, we are a college prep focused uh, school. We have hands-on problem-based curriculum using real issues to engage our students. Uh, our secret to success, our, our key to success is that we believe it's a four-year journey as we look at college and career readiness as a four-year journey. And we not only prepare our students, but we prepare our parents uh, all four years for the college application campaign and FAFSA. We have approximately uh, bioscience has approximately 70% of our seniors are first generation college students, and many of them come from low earning, uh, low earning households. So you can see a little bit of our uh, ethnic breakdown. 
and our, our facts uh, are right right now um, our student enrollment is at 379 across our four grade levels. So what we do at our school works for us. Uh, we are, are really proud of the uh, amazing uh, accomplishments our, our students have achieved. We've had tremendous, uh, tremendous success in being able to uh, get students into the, uh, the universities, the public universities and private universities here in, in Arizona, but uh, also out of state. We were awarded the National Blue Ribbon School, a National Blue Ribbon Award in 2020. And we were, uh, Bioscience really celebrated as well as Phoenix Union celebrated that award. But uh, what we do works for us and we, we hope to continue with a strong, we hope to continue with a strong program. So as I said, the, the key to success for us is that it's a four year journey. So we lay out a, a comprehensive counseling curriculum throughout the four years to help build college and career readiness toward, uh, toward the senior year and getting our students ready for the college application campaign and FAFSA completion in the senior year. So as we look at uh, breaking this down, as we look at uh, uh, what our freshmen and sophomore and how, so as, as we, we begin here, this. We cannot do what we do at Bioscience. We cannot do what we do without the help of College Depot. They are literally uh, embedded into our uh, all of so many of our programs. So in our freshman and sophomore year, we begin with student and parent orientations. My principal really backs us uh, in this and uh, is a strong presence at both our parent and student orientations. Uh, I'm given time, uh, my staff gives me time for quarterly ECAP presentations in, uh, in freshman and sophomore year. So I, uh, that includes not only myself with college and career readiness, but also uh, our social worker provides social emotional presentations and Access ASU helps round that out with academic uh, presentations. We also highlight the college board raise.me, which is their first, I think for freshmen, their first opportunity to really look at how financial aid uh, impacts the college journey. And we introduce them to Zello, our career development uh, software that Phoenix Union uses. We also provide opportunities for families to learn college and career readiness. We partner with Access ASU through the Dream Academy to give parents the opportunity to learn more and we pick up with the College Depot. Uh, uh, our students uh, participate in College Depot summer programs with, uh, uh, with those. Chris, are, do you wanna wait and talk about summer programs uh, or would you like to, okay. Uh, Chris will, will address summer programs and, and what's offered here in, in just a moment. After we, we move through ninth and 10th grade, uh, we further go into depth in 11th grade and really hit home on uh, trying to deepen student and family awareness of uh, co the college admissions process. College Depot is vital in, in this. They, uh, we introduce our students to the scholarship database, College Depot's YouTube resources that are available 24 seven to our students. And again, uh, push summer programs uh, where College Depot partners with, the Fe with Phoenix Union to provide uh, really uh, focused programming for our juniors. That focused programming includes our ACT test prep. College Depot um, hosts our, our, our uh, when pre-pandemic would, would literally uh, give us a facility to host ACT test prep uh, in the month of June and uh, during uh, provide us a virtual platform as when we needed it last year. So ACT test prep, and again, uh, my staff allows me to go in each quarter to do a presentation, an ECAP presentation to the juniors. So we, we each of those presentations emphasizes financial aid and the FAFSA. At the senior level, uh, we support FAFSA success through Phoenix Union and College Depot summer programs, the ACT prep. We have a program called Lift Off to College, which uh, it, our college application campaign is embedded in that. But we, we ask our seniors we, for uh, one week time to focus on college admissions 
and we take them through uh, we take them through college information, uh, college application. We try to to finish the uh, in-state public university applications during our liftoff to college event. Our seniors take part in a college and career readiness class. So this has been vital. This has been vital to our success in um, getting our students uh, getting our students to college and to FAFSA completion. So it's through the college and career readiness class, we abbreviate that with calling it CCR. It's through that CCR class that uh, they have access to college and university partners who also emphasize the importance of FAFSA. That CCR class is open to multiple schools across the district. So we're seeing a, a, a raise in success in, in our numbers, I think in part through, uh, in part through this class. We hold an annual FAFSA event. Uh, Pre-pandemic, that event was always partnered with College Depot. They gave us a, a, a home to uh, house our event. Uh, in, the, in the pandemic year, ASU uh, graciously offered to host our, our virtual event. Other programs that were vital to our seniors were the College Depot GRIT program and the College Depot College Palooza, which I, I know Chris in, here in just a moment is gonna highlight those programs. But particularly with the GRIT program, uh, that gave our, our bioscience seniors the opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one advisor help them through the college admissions process. So even with the college and career readiness class, being able to have that additional advisor has helped uh, more of our students in these very difficult times uh, be ready, you know, they're ready with their college admissions and financial aid in large part because of the GRIT program. We have a phenomenal, a phenomenal district website that emphasizes college and career readiness. We call it your future. So the district puts resources, financial resources into having someone uh, keep this updated. So our post-secondary articulation specialist uh, really make certain that this that this website is maintained and updated frequently, and it it is a resource that we utilize and point students toward from freshman year through senior year. So our students and families are very familiar with it as a as a place. If you've got a college and career question, this is where you go. So I wanted to highlight this page in particular. Our uh, our our seniors know that this is where they can go to get FAFSA help. So we, uh, again, we identify that Phoenix small schools utilize College Depot, Depot for FAFSA support. Our large schools, our large comprehensive campuses have uh, be a leader. They have a be a leader assistance on their campus who will uh, come and meet with students directly on campus. So Phoenix Union has been so fortunate to have the partnership with both, uh, both of those programs. Chris, I wanted to give you an opportunity to, to highlight the many amazing programs that College Depot offers for, for students across the district. Yeah, absolutely. So um, thank you again. Um, for those who don't know, College Depot um, at Phoenix Public Library is a, fee, uh, a free um, college access center um, located in the heart of downtown, not too far away from bioscience, actually. This is a screenshot of our website. So um, we do the, the best we can, especially, you know, in the past couple of years to make sure that all of the resources that we have that we make available to our students at our center are also available on our website. So much of the things that um, that have been referenced and then I'm going to kind of uh, uh, go through real quick here you can if you go to our website um, it's phoenixpubliclibrary.org forward slash college depot or if you just google or being us uh, we'll uh, you know just put college depot and then we'll pop up uh, but you can find everything there including um, um, information we're going to uh, highlight grit we're going to also talk about our summer programming um, and then we also have uh, a fantastic YouTube channel that has grown over this past year um, highlighting which has placed an emphasis on highlighting um, various scholarships that have uh, deadlines each month and you can kind of you can find that you can find our scholarships and all of that right here so uh, again phoenixpubliclibrary.org forward slash college depot And this is the magic behind everything, our, our, our wonderful and amazing team um, at College Depot. So um, you could see us all the way there from the left to the right. And this is yeah, basically everybody who makes everything happen in person. Uh, we are uh, still limited in person on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but also virtually we're able to um, provide assistance with um, uh, workshops, 
uh, FAFSA labs and also one-on-one -on -one appointments um, virtually via Microsoft Teams or over the phone. So some of the, uh, again, like our, the, our bread and butter service is of course one-on-one -on -one appointments. So helping students with basically anything and everything that has to do with uh, post-secondary access, admissions, college planning, financial aid. Um, we, and, and students can get that assistance uh, by setting up a, an appointment. You can see right there, tiny.cc forward slash capital C capital D request. Um, we have just a little a little form um, a student can fill out and they'll get an email or a phone call um, uh, to, to set up an appointment. And um, so additionally, as you mentioned, so our, our standard services, you know, the one-on-one -on -one appointments, but we launched GRIT, College Depot GRIT, or Graduating Ready, Independent, and Tenacious in the fall of 2020. So um, with everything going on in the world, uh, the lots of uncertainty, one thing that we knew we could do was support our seniors and make sure that they had, you know, what they needed uh, throughout the year. So we launched, uh, sorry, I just got a little caught up. Um, I never cried in, in a meeting, but so we launched College Depot Grit. Basically, the goal was, sorry, it just hit me right now. Um, the goal was to uh, make sure that uh, students had an advisor to walk them through all of the steps throughout the year. I'm sorry. Yeah. Can, can you take it? Um, I'm sorry. I can. Let me. This let has me, never happened to me before. Let me, let me take, uh, take that. So this has been a vital program for bioscience. Uh, we are blessed in proximity to, to the College Depot. And I think after a, a long pandemic year, our students were um, you know, happy to get an opportunity to go back to, go back to the library uh, and uh, sometimes be able to head directly to the, the College Depot. But GRIT has helped bioscience seniors to forge a, a relationship with an advisor. It's a safe place for our seniors to ask, uh, you know, particularly our first generation seniors to ask questions about college and career readiness. So while I think we're, we're doing a really good job uh, as the school counselor preparing our, uh, preparing our bioscience seniors, the GRIT program has, has just been phenomenal at being icing on the cake as you, as you will, uh, to just give, the, just surround our students with support to get any questions answered uh, to, to get any questions answered around college admissions. Thank you, and I do apologize. So basically the design of GRIT is to pair one of the, uh, to pair high school seniors with one of our amazing advisors, and they can kind of create an individualized, personalized senior plan, and then they stick with them throughout the senior year through the summer to make sure that they'll, uh, they're able to have the support that they need um, with it, all of their admissions, financial, financial aid, and then general college planning. So. So um, you can go to tiny.cc forward slash CD grit um, for students to, to find out more. You can see on our website. And I do apologize for that. Okay, next. So also, um, yeah, the topic here, of course, is FAFSA. Um, and so uh, our grid advisors are able to uh, assist with students and their FAFSA, but we also have FAFSA small groups. So rather than, um, you know, in the past, our, you know, our move was basically to have these massive FAFSA completion, you know, events in our uh, wonderful auditorium and our digital classroom, workshop room, all of that. Clearly, we don't want to do that. So we've just spread them out over, you know, throughout the, um, you know, throughout the year. So every Wednesday and Saturday from October all the way through, we're heading now into January, every Wednesday and Saturday, um, students are able to call and set up uh, to get an individual, uh, um, to get individual assistance in these small groups so we keep them under 10. And then of course, if you go to, uh, if you Google or not Google, if you go to YouTube and then put uh, College Depot, we'll pop up. So every month, um, Heading into January, sorry, our, on our scholarship page, like we have, we draw from a database of over 800, um, 800 scholarships. And so that can be somewhat daunting. It's almost like too much, right? You know, uh, where it's just too much. So every month we, we try to have a fun little three to five minute video that highlights three different scholarships that have deadlines that month. Um, and so it's, it's, it's just kind of a fun way to help students like have a place to start, like to know, um, you know, like here's at least three and then they can kind of build their search from there. So um, if you go to our YouTube channel, check that out. You can also see the three we highlighted in December. Um, if you like and subscribe, then you will um, uh, get alerts every month when those comes out, when those come out. Thank you, Chris. That was a really good overview of the, the College Depot programs. So as we, uh, 
you know, as we look at what does bioscience do with regard to uh, their uh, FAFSA? So we do have a FAFSA fiesta every year. Uh, that one of the key, I, I think one of the key things to success is that we, we try to maintain that date every year. So it remains the same each year. So that helps us to publicize that the idea of the FAFSA fiesta throughout all four years of the high school experience, not only to our students, but to our parents that they know this is when at bioscience, this is when the FAFSA happens. We notify our parents well in advance via uh, school messenger and, and social media. We, uh, we prepare our seniors through that college and career readiness class for what's coming, right? So we, by the time that, that we have our FAFSA fiesta, our students have, uh, you know, have looked at a sample FAFSA. They, we, we have gone through checklists. We, right, our students and parents know what they need to be successful in completing the FAFSA. College Depot is uh, a vital partner in our, our, our tier one FAFSA outreach. College Depot runs the FSA ID workshop uh, through the entire month of September for students and parents. So uh, for bioscience seniors, College Depot ran, uh, ran a workshop, uh, FSA ID workshop multiple times actually during our CCR class. So seniors had the opportunity while in school, while in class to finish that FSA ID and in turn then could help a parent could help a parent apply for an FSA ID. But in the event that they didn't or weren't able to help their parent, we had a way of, uh, uh, we messaged to our parents that they could turn to uh, a College Depot workshop to get that important element done. Uh, we also, we definitely utilized incentives. So uh, pre-pandemic, the FAFSA Fiesta was connected to uh, tacos and, Food is always, as, as many of you know, food is always a, a big a big pull for students. So the uh, the idea of eating tacos and doing their doing their FAFSA it was the tacos. I think that uh, uh, that motivated uh, that motivated the students. Um, we had to get a little bit more inventive as the the pandemic hit. So uh, you know, gift cards, some things along along that route that were uh, you know easier to easier incentives to give out uh, during the pandemic time. We also tried to motivate in this tier one, we also tried to motivate our seniors uh, through updating them with the percentage of completed FAFSAs uh, weekly. Chris, do you, do you wanna add anything about the FSA ID workshops before we head on? Yeah, a uh, uh, key success just heading into October was, and this was really Dolores Ramirez, um, uh, amazing work and we just partnered with her you know, in terms of staff and everything but having uh, I believe it was daily FSCID completion workshop so um, we knew we were going to have to uh, well everybody you know district knew that it was going to be necessary to do uh, FAFSA you know in a virtual environment for the most part um, and so that's difficult to do if students don't already have their um, FSA ID so we partnered uh, with Phoenix Union or should I say uh, they partnered with us um, to, to, to support and have just regular FSA ID virtual labs students can come in we'd walk them through that usually I mean it, it can be simple but it can also be really hard um, you know depending on you know the, the students preparation so that helped to lead into what would be um, our second consecutive year uh, of most FAFSA uh, completions so it was very helpful thank you Chris so from here as we think about tier two right uh, we were blessed with the, the data that the post-secondary commission provides, uh, provides us. So, uh, you know, after our initial event, we dig into the data and try to, uh, try to target, do focused, targeted intervention to the students who most, the students and families who most need it. So for us, uh, tier two, our tier two uh, intervention was targeted on our, our no match students. For our district, for our district, um, the complete, incomplete, if, if a student is incomplete, it means that they're missing or that a parent signature page, a printed parent signature page has not been, has not yet been processed. So we know that complete, incomplete, and partial match uh, all, all combine to give us our, uh, our completion numbers for, uh, uh, for, 
bioscience. So we're really trying to target in tier two, we're targeting the no match students. We also utilize the azmeta.org. So they provide uh, snapshots of completion rates for, uh, for Phoenix Union. So this, uh, this chart or this graph uh, helps inform us as well. We have found, particularly with our, our student population, this one uh, this one has been the most motivating uh, for, for ease, of, you know, for ease to, of seeing where we are with regard to the other schools in our district. So we utilize we utilize that data for tier two, and our tier two is a senior advisor in CCR. So we we would. Uh, we set up individual conferences with each of our no match students with a, uh, with a senior advisor. So that could be a senior grade level teacher, myself, uh, support staff who are, uh, who's, who are familiar with the FAFSA process. So we would talk to, uh, we talk to those individual seniors about, you know, what's, what's holding you, right? We, we've, had, we've had the event and, and you weren't able to complete the FAFSA. What's holding you back from doing that? And just being Really, really listening to what the student level obstacles are, and seeing how uh, we can help free them, or you know, free the path for them to get to FAFSA completion. We utilized uh, our Phoenix Union Your Future website to show where they could get FAFSA support, and we encourage students to sign up for FAFSA virtual one-on-one -on -one appointments. Uh, with the College Depot or using College Depot's small group in-person workshop if they if they wanted an in-person experience. And uh, you know, while I'm saying we encouraged, that often looked like while the student was sitting with me, I would say, hey, let's pull out your phone. Let's pull out your phone right now. Here's the College Depot number. Let, let, let's get the appointment. So it was just that, that like a little bit of hand-holding to say, you, right, you, you've got to get this done. You're it, you're right, it's going to be okay, you've got to get this done, let's make the appointment. And sometimes that's all it took, was just that additional assistance to uh, get that one-on-one -on -one appointment. Again, we would, we would approach with, uh, we would approach looking at the, at the data that's available to identify who are our tier three. So after that, uh, after interventions where, where we had those one-on-one -on -one you know, one-on-one -on -one appoint uh, conferences with the students. We help them to uh, we help them to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with College Depot if they still were not able to complete their FAFSA. This is where uh, we we targeted our parent phone calls. So we had both English and Spanish-speaking support staff uh, call our call our parents call our parents with no match and talk about. Okay, why is the FAFSA important? How does it help your senior student? And again, try to just be a listener to what are the obstacles in uh, in this family's way. So one of the um, one factor that we have found is that oftentimes uh, families need tax uh, need tax help or tax help resources. So free tax help resources are also available on our Phoenix Union Your Future website. And uh, so that's one that we utilize often and has been very helpful uh, in clearing the way or clearing the way of obstacles for our families. And again, in that phone call, we walk parents through the sign up for a, a FAFSA one, sorry, a College Depot one on one FAFSA, either the workshop or the one on one appointment. So we really try to stay on the line while the parent takes that action to sign up for uh, to sign up for an appointment. I truly could not do tier three without my tremendous support staff, my front office staff who are just willing, I mean, they are willing to uh, go all out to, to make these calls. So I'm very appreciative of the support that I get at campus level to make that happen. And Chris, <laughs> if uh, I don't know if it, in there, if, uh, if you had anything, uh, anything else to add about the one-on-one -on -one or the small group, uh, the small group appointments, but uh, so I invite you to go ahead and share, and, and then we'll head to Q and A. No, nothing to add. We'll have my contact info at the end. So if anybody does have a question or would like to know more, they can shoot me an email. Terrific, thank you. And both Julie, we'll go ahead and have you take it away. Yeah. So we do have some questions that came in. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, address those. Um, Terry, thank you so much for addressing the questions in the chat. 
very detailed and helpful. So I really appreciate that. Um, but we do have a question that says that they'd like to know more about your partnering with Alento to support your students. Um, so any additional information you can provide on that uh, would be great. And then we can go to the, to the next question after. We are fortunate that uh, at Bioscience, we have current senior students who have, uh, who are you know, also very uh, engaged with Aliento for community service, but they're an organization that helps undocumented students to uh, connect to resources that will help them with financial aid toward their college experience. So it was, I think what was key for us was getting, um, you know, making that, uh, that lead connection and uh, following up, you know, following up with a phone call. I know Terry, uh, Terry Haggerty's on the, the, the call as well. Uh, Terry was instrumental as the, our uh, small schools uh, counselor mentor and to engage with Aliento and ask for support uh, in workshops. So uh, it, it was that reach out from Phoenix Union to Aliento that that started that partnership to have them them come in and our students our, our students are familiar like I said our students are familiar with uh, with that program. Perfect. And then the next question I um, referred to a little bit uh, further further in the beginning of the presentation, but um, how do you get buy in from teachers to allow you to do classroom lessons? Uh, what strategies did you use? Hmm. Thank you for that question. Uh, I do acknowledge that I, I am very, uh, very blessed with the supportive staff. Um, I, I think it was, it became undeniable to our, uh, to our staff. I, I, if you, in, and on one of the screens, I shared our accomplishments, like right, right in the presentation today, I shared our accomplishments in terms of uh, where we have been able to uh, get students in terms of uh, colleges and universities across the nation. Uh, our staff, right? Our, our, you know, our staff year after year was starting. It was right. We we had history of this is when when we do this when we support one another. These are the good things that happen for our students. So it was in part um, the counselors before me at Bioscience and and myself. We we have tried to continue to communicate with the staff uh, our successes and why we are doing what we're doing. But I, I think it's our success record uh, in saying, if you give us this time, here's, you know, here's what, as a school community, what, what, uh, what we can provide for our students. Uh, we, they, they've paved the way, they've opened, they've opened up for us. So uh, in, in this case, my word of advice would be communication. The more communication, the more evidence that, that uh, you can showcase in staff meetings or in, in communication, uh, I, I think the the more help uh, the the more help it will be. I will say I've also counseled on comprehensive campuses, right? Right. Bioscience is a small school, so that e equates to a smaller staff. I uh, I think the challenge is greater on a comprehensive campus uh, that has a larger staff to get that buy-in. But it begins across the board. It begins with communication. Awesome. All right, and the next question is for Kay. Um, how do you utilize counseling peer interns to nudge students? We've developed a program in our senior year. Our seniors are required to do a 200 hour capstone internship. Uh, so some of, the, some of the seniors find it easier or want to stay on campus to, um, to do that internship. So we, we train senior students, so the senior peer interns uh, in, uh, the college going process. So we train them ahead of what they're going to need, need to know. We assign them a small group of peers that uh, that then they meet regularly with that small group of peers and, and act as a bridge, like a bridge of information uh, that that they can help. Sometimes, uh, sometimes our students, our senior students, especially coming off the pandemic year, were more comfortable approaching another peer with a question than they were approaching me as you know, as the counselor, so it was through that uh, it was through the peer intern that oftentimes the peer intern was able to answer a question. But if they couldn't, the peer intern could turn around and ask me, and and be able to provide an answer to the student, which uh, 
which in turn gave that student more confidence to ask more questions. So we, uh, we have definitely benefited from uh, having, having peer interns, having, uh, having their resource, and it just helps us to, to ensure that we're reaching every single, every single student with college and career readiness. Awesome. And, and Chris, um, it seems that some of these peer interns go into AmeriCorps positions at College Depot. Uh, thank you, Terry, for the, the setup there for the question. <laughs> Yeah, so a key co component of College Depot has been over the years, and um, especially with GRIT, has just been AmeriCorps. So we run on AmeriCorps, and um, typically all of our AmeriCorps are current college students, whether working on an undergraduate or a graduate degree. Um, and uh, this past year, I reached out to Terry uh, to see if there are any students that she had worked with in the past that are, you know, might be interested in an AmeriCorps position. And she sent me a very detailed list. And so I reached out and contacted them. And um, three of them, um, you know, were former bio students. And uh, I think the last I looked, about a third of our great um, students are from bioscience. So it's just really nice. Um, for our, you know, grid advisors, some of our grid advisors who were former bio students who are currently in college to be able to make that connection with, uh, with students. And uh, from that, you know, it's just like, a, it's, it's, you know, that near peer element, I guess, um, our, our America helps to provide that. And Chris, another question is, so um, College Depot has, you know, partnerships with Phoenix Union District. Are there any other districts or, or individual high schools that you partner with at all? Yeah, we actually had a uh, hosted a virtual FAFSA lab for Paradise Valley last night. Um, so that was great. And we've worked with them over the years as well. Um, I think that, you know, being uh, embedded right in the heart of Phoenix, um, it, you know, in, it puts us in, 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 the, in the heart of the uh, Phoenix Union High School District. So, you know, it's natural partnerships there. But yes, we work with, uh, we, you know, we're, we're a, a public entity within the city of Phoenix. And so we love to work with all of our partners and um, schools and districts in the area. Perfect. Well, any other questions, feel free to go ahead and type them in, or you can put them in the Q&A section either way. Um, but I think we addressed all of the questions um, and, and definitely a lot of material to go over. Um, Kay, thank you so much for sharing all of the FAFSA initiatives that were happening at the district level of Phoenix Union and then at the high school level. Um, definitely love the idea, idea of breaking them, the students, basically the work down into different tiers, um, just to kind of funnel down to that one-on-one -on -one support. Um, and definitely thank you to Chris uh, for providing information on College Depot and the partnership. Um, I know the work that you and your team do is, is absolutely amazing um, and the partnership statewide. Um, we just couldn't do it without you guys. Um, so if there's anything um, that anybody would like to ask, we'll stay on for the next uh, couple of minutes here. Um, uh, and then we'll go ahead and um, you know end, end the webinar if there's nothing else. Um, they do have their contact information here. So if you have any questions for Kay or for Chris, um, definitely email them. Um, we'll also email out a, um, the recording as well from today. So if you have any of your colleagues who weren't able to make it to the actual live session today, um, we'll also have it posted on the AZ FAFSA Challenge website. Um, and then we'll share out the slides as well. Um, so in case there's anything that you missed or that you wanna you know, cover, um, you can have that information there. Um, and then I know we have some questions coming in from the chat in regards to Diana Mateer. Dan, I know you're on the the uh, the webinar, so I'm not sure if you want to join in. Um, I think you should just be able to go ahead and unmute, um, or you can put something in the chat. Either way, I know Diana is a big help within College Depot. She's our financial aid uh, guru. If you ever have any questions that you're not sure of, uh, Diana is the statewide go-to person. I like to call her. Um, so. Uh, definitely want to give a, a shout out to Diana and all of her skills there, especially assisting all students and, and Chris and Judy and the team really appreciate everything that you guys do and continue to do. Um, yes. Here I am. <laughs> there she is. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was trying to unmute myself. Yes, I am here. I am Diana Matier, and probably the easiest way to reach me at College Depot is through the email that Terry Haggerty shared. 
Um, I am happy to help you no matter where you live, although most of College Depot's work is within the city of Phoenix. Um, none of you is excluded or are immune to me. So if you do have questions, please email me and I will get back with you within 24 hours or maybe even 24 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, and Diana. Thanks for the shout out, Julie. <laughs> yeah. And we have Judy on the line too, so we can unmute Judy too, if Judy wants to <laughs> say a few words. Um, yes, Diana is speedy and amazing. Um, <laughs> so definitely want to give a shout out to Diana. Um, but any other information or items that Chris or Kay that you'd like to share at all with the group before we conclude the webinar today? Oh, uh, I wasn't sure if you were going to go first, Kay. Uh, yeah, no, I uh, just really genuinely appreciate everybody's time. Um, looking forward to, um, to to working with anybody um, who may have interest. So please feel free to reach out to me, um, Christopher.Seidel at phoenix.gov, um, and we can set something up. And thank you for giving your time today to, to uh, allow us to spotlight the, the tremendous things that that Bioscience High School and Phoenix Union are doing. So we appreciate your time and uh, wish all of you a, a tremendous holiday, uh, you know, holiday season with your families. Perfect. Everyone have a great day and um, have a great holiday season. Thank you so much.